Good day, everyone. Today, I'll be summarizing the latest updates on the U. Presidential election, focusing on vote counts, voter sentiments, security measures, and some recent incidents at polling locations. Let's dive right in to understand the key points as the election unfolds. As of November 6, at 6.35 a.m. Vietnam time, former President Donald Trump leads with 129,612 votes, 63. 1%, while Vice President Kamala Harris follows with 73,246 votes, 35. A CNN poll reveals that nearly 90% of Harris supporters believe in the fairness of this election, but only a smaller percentage of Trump supporters feel the same. Additionally, around 75% of voters feel democracy is at risk, with only a minority fully trusting the stability of the current political system. Many are concerned about potential post-election violence. In Wisconsin, local authorities in Milwaukee are recounting about 30,000 absentee ballots with extra caution due to a minor issue with vote counting machines. All machines are being reset to zero to ensure accuracy, although there is no indication of tampering. On social media, Trump mentioned alleged widespread fraud in Philadelphia. The local law enforcement stated there are no reports of any issues requiring their intervention. Harris' team is prepared to counter any premature claims of victory from Trump's side. Trump has encouraged supporters to vote, hinting at a big win on Truth Social. He is expected to address his supporters in Florida regardless of the results. In battleground states, Trump holds slight leads in Arizona, Georgia, North Carolina, Nevada, and Pennsylvania. Harris, however, leads narrowly in Michigan and Wisconsin. Polling places in Georgia experienced brief closures due to threats, but voting resumed, with some areas reporting record-breaking turnout. For example, Michigan saw over 3. 3 million early voters, and Georgia was on track to exceed its 5. Some technical issues occurred, like delays at certain Arizona polling stations. However, Pennsylvania's governor assured that vote counting would be faster this year than in 2020, with many mail-in ballots already processed. In high-density states like New York, Democrats dominate voter registrations. Polls suggest Harris is expected to secure New York, a historically Democratic state. As America awaits the final results, the world watches closely. This election highlights deep divisions but also a high level of civic engagement. Thank you for tuning in, and let's continue to observe how this historic election shapes the future of the United States.